Okay, so I had um, it's my car and um, the um, emblems on the back that said Hyundai were I just touched them and they fell off. Um, I lost one, so I have to replace one of them. But um, what I had originally done is after I pulled them off, I tried the hot glue them, and I came back the next morning and the um, hot glue, I guess. Um, um, didn't hold and they fell off um, I, I could have sworn I used hot glue before in the past and it worked but this time I am um, going to use um, Gorilla clear glue which is this stuff here if you can see that this stuff works on a lot of things um, surprisingly it's worked well and I've never really had problems um, what I wind up doing when you start messing around with this, there's like glue that residue around the letters and you have to get it off. So I use some goo gone just to get the glue off around the edges. Um, and then I use some isopropyl alcohol to clean off the goo gone. Now the, um, I didn't take the actual rubbery pieces off, portions off because I want to have a, a template where I put the new letters I have really hard trouble aligning letters especially letters if it was just the one big emblem I might be able to do it well but letters I'll put them on there crooked I've done it in the past so um, I left the material on there which is still sticking well to the car so hopefully when this new glue attaches it will attach in a consistent manner um, so that's all I have for now I'm gonna um, do it and then I'll come back to the video okay so I got the um, letters I had I'm missing one letter which I'm gonna pick up it wasn't as easy as I thought it was gonna be um, I thought the glue which is this Gorilla Glue which works on everything I've tried it on so far would um, be tacky enough to keep the letters on without the tape support but I had to put painters tape on there to get it to hold temporarily um, it was kind of slick I mean I might have to go back and remove it and um, really clean the area up more with um, rubbing alcohol or something I may have some wax under there for some reason but um, I don't know you never know this stuff might work um, the letters I put right on top of the old letters I'm not sure how accurate I was because each letter has its own horizontal and vertical position um, it probably looked a little crooked but can't do much about that all right it's been about 20 hours since I Use the Gorilla Glue and glued these emblems back on. Let's see if the tape held long enough to keep it from moving around and if there's any material from the glue sticking on the car that shouldn't be. Now remember I'm missing one letter. I'll probably get a new letter. I'll definitely get a new letter. If this doesn't work I'll just take all the um, emblems off and just leave it blank. But it looks good so far. Not like, if it wasn't sticking when I was pulling this tape off, most likely some of the um, letters would already be coming off right now. But um, the Gorilla Glue that I got, I really like it. It's never failed me to glue anything. It's not super glue, but it acts like super glue. And um, that's why I like using it. I even used it for, um, I think my mirror on my car when the mirror fell off. But yeah, these are on there good. These aren't moving. That one's a little crooked, but crooked's better than nothing, I guess. The eye was, I knew it was going to give me trouble. But yep, I'll get me a D and I'll be fine. It's on there really well. So I use um, Gorilla Glue, the small bottle that I showed, if you're going to do something like this. And I never took off the um, old rubbery leftovers from the glue and I just I cleaned them around with um, rubbing alcohol and then 
if there was stuff, tough stuff still on there, I used um, Gooby Gone, and then I cleaned it again with the rubbing alcohol. I'll probably be um, waxing this so it's really clean. But it's pretty, it's in pretty good shape as it is. The Gooby Gone did a good job taking off the material that was there. Uh, the eyes are a little disappointing, but overall it came out all right. 